Black Souls 3 is going to be a little ways away. With Toro announcing that there's going to be two spin-off games before the release of Black Souls 3, it's going to be a while before we can catch up with Grimm and the gang. In the meantime, many of us are asking, what can possibly fill in the void that our wacky adventures in Wonderland left us with? Nothing can ever be similar to Black Souls, am I right? Right? What else could possibly capture the unique sense of dread and insanity that's so present in the series? Well, the answer is nothing. But we can sure try to come close. I'm not going to be mentioning obvious shit like Dark Souls or Berserk. We should all be familiar with those series anyway. Right? Right? If you haven't heard of either of those somehow, click off this video, unsub, and go away. Those are required reading for viewing Bakugun. But with all of that out of the way, number one. Fear and Hunger. Specifically the original, but the Terminator demo also works. Did you like the uh, quote-unquote medieval fantasy of Black Souls? The cosmic horror the series delves into from time to time? Do you wish to entrust your entire life on a single coin flip Anton Chigurh style? Do you want to feel utterly hopeless, weak, and vulnerable, and still try to overcome those challenges anyway? No! Pussy. This game isn't for you then. Even if you agreed to all of the above, this game still might, might not be for you. Fear and Hunger is a dark and disturbing trip through the dungeons of, you guess it, Fear and Hunger. A very dark and very disturbing trip. Number two. Near. Specifically Replicant slash Gestalt, but Automata also works. Ah man, where do I begin? I'm sure you've heard of this one before. Not as well known as Dark Souls or Berserk, but also not quite as obscure as Fear and Hunger. Did you enjoy the times Dark Souls got depressing? Like, really depressing? Me too, friend. Nier is one depressing take on the RPG format that asks questions most of us wouldn't even think about while playing video games. Set in a post-apocalypse with the remnants of humanity desperately trying to build civilization back together, you play as an older brother or dad, depending on the game, and who is desperately trying to care for their sister slash daughter, Yona, and they, like Grimm, will do anything they can for her. Anything. Number three.
Ender Lilies. Did you like that Black Souls is anime and has lollies? Well then, here in Ender Lilies you get to play as a small girl named Lily with a fucking night forest and all Jojo style. And in this Souls-like Metrovania, you run around a ruined blight made a world set to melancholic music by Millie. This game is very similar, tone, atmosphere, and story similar to Dark Souls. Well, the Black Souls takes heavy inspiration from Dark Souls. If you like Souls-like, anime, and Metrovanias, give Ender Lilies a try. Number four. Darkwood. Did you like it when Black Souls was scary? Ever wanted to live in the woods of Poland? No? <laughs> Same though. <sighs> Eastern European bleakness. My favorite kind of bleakness. In Darkwood, you simply survive in a mutated dark forest. Sounds simple enough. But it's one of the most tense, anxiety inducing horror games I've ever played. I still don't play it with lights off. You play as just some dude, a stranger if you will. Well, someone who came into this forest from the outside, and your goal is to leave and, and survive along the way. With an interesting top down perspective and a limited field of view, you and amazing sound design, you'll be on the lookout for anything moving outside of your vision. And this game is hard. Once night hits, you'll be in a desperate scramble to defend yourself from all the things that go bump in the night. Good luck! Damn it, it's Gan Orobuchi! Creator of Madoka Magica, Psychopaths, and the best parts of Fate. Did you like all the gross parts of Black Souls? How about playing as a morally dubious protagonist? And the lolis and shit? Yeah, Sayano Uta is a disturbing vision novel with no hold holds bars that deeply shook me to my core. Fucking sounds they make. Uh, some of the other games on here are easier to recommend to normal people with normal lives and normal minds. But this is one of the those that uh, not everyone's gonna like. It's dark, it's gross, and it's disturbing. And there's a lot of fucking. Oh! And there's a healthy pinch of cosmic horror. And a little bit of slasher. You play as Fuminori Sakisaka, F who, after an accident, can only see the world as a disgusting, bulbous meat. Everything, except for this one girl named Saya, and that's, it, that's all I'm gonna say. It's a pretty short read. Go have fun. All these games can be played on Steam, or of course. Other methods. None of these games quite capture the unique tone and atmosphere of Black Souls, but they have enough similarities that I'm sure if you like Black Souls, you all like at least one of these games. And hey, if not, I have plenty more of that came from.